Hi everybody, how you all doing today? It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, that must mean it's time for the catacombs. And uh, you guys caught me while I'm getting everything loaded up for the Swarm Fest, or uh, not Swarm Fest, Phoenix Fan Fusion, which will be next weekend here in Phoenix, Arizona, at the Phoenix Convention Center. Very exciting, it'll be the first con here in Phoenix in two years. It's been a while, so it's really exciting grabbing, uh, getting all the product labeled and ready to get out on our booth and all the other fun shenanigans we'll be doing. So welcome to the catacombs, everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Mike Woodard, what's up? Ace, testing one, two, three, how are you today? I hope you guys all had a great week. It's been a really uh, crazy week at uh, HQ. We're shipping stuff out. Getting new stuff in, basically, it's what you expect from Coffin Comics. Always got something going on. Always, always having fun. And we do it because of you guys. We've always said this. You guys are the major part of Coffin Comics. We can't do what we do without you. Oh, thank you, Dakota. Catacombs are up, according to Dakota. So we got this great Kickstarter going, and we just made an announcement. We have just released two new editions. Let me show them to you. They're $80. Really great value. Oh, come on. Why are we having so much difficulty? All right. We are happy to introduce to you, just released one hour ago. This is La Muerta Primeval number one. This is the Marissa Pope two book set. It's $80. Reward 23A, and what's the other reward? Oh, it didn't print on mine. Okay, Jimmy, if you could patch up the uh, reward 23 or add-on number, I think it's 32A. Really beautiful set. As two book set limited to 100, oh, excuse me, 77 matching serial numbers. These are stunning. This is a really stunning um, arts by Marissa Pope and Czech Michael Obach. I hope I pronounced that right, but these are really beautiful editions. So, Savage Land two book set just dropped $80 right here on the La Muerta Catacombs. Uh, La Muerta Kickstarter. Why is everyone texting me when I have a live show? Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate you. And there's the link right there. Go ahead and click, adjust your pledge. Make that an add-on and get this beautiful edition in your collection and make sure you get it quick because there's only 77 sets. They will go quick. All right, another thing we are happy to announce is we will be tipping in 100 worry dolls randomly across all physical rewards. Now, some people are wondering, what's a worry doll? Well, a worry doll is a, an old... Um, Latin American tradition. According to legend, Mayan people believed that when they tell their troubles to a worry doll and place it under their pillow at night, in the morning all their worries will be gone. Now this is really neat. Um, my mom gave me uh, one of these as a kid when I was very little and sort of my, uh, my nana. And um, when I saw that Joel thought this would be a neat add-on, I I got very nostalgic. Uh, I remember whispering in these things and putting it on my pillow uh, to make my worries go away. And one thing that's cool about these, the Guatemalan artisans bind pieces of wood together or twist together short lengths of wire to create the frame and fashion a torso, legs, arms, and head. By winding cloth and yarn around the flame, the artisans give the doll shape. They use scraps of traditional woven fabric to make them dolls, costumes, and wind more yarn to create the head, hair, feet, and hands. And these are handmade. Like I say, we're going to tip in 100 across all physical rewards. This is absolutely beautiful. Got them in a nice little cute bowl here. And there's some other really great stuff. Don't tell me it's 78, 76 degrees. It's bloody hot here. It's already like 100 and something, and I'm sweating like a pig. But I uh, am very envious of your weather because, God, I wish that was the high right now. All right. Let's look at some of the beautiful additions we have for the Little Muerta Prime Evil Kickstarter. Now, I'm really excited about this one. This is Little Muerta Prime Evil 
Tamora edition. Absolutely beautiful. I love how the roots and the tree form a skull. And I also like about a lot of these um, editions and the interior art is the coloring is magnificent. For those who've been following La Muerta's adventures, they are very dark, gritty, urban uh, settings. And this one, since we've got her in the jungle, Cece Dela Cruz doing the uh, interior coloring absolutely really added a lot of really vibrant coloring to this story. It's great because it totally fits in with the changed environment our character is in. How will she be able to do it? She is a well-trained soldier, but she's also in the jungles. So how is she going to get out of this? Well, you'll have to find out, but this is the Tamara, Tamara edition. Go ahead and make it into one of your selections today. Another one we have, whew, this one's beautiful. Can't wait to see what it's like. Sun K is doing the jeweled edition. Now this is a mock-up, so there is no jewels on it yet. It's just to show you a representation of the art. Again, Sun K has really taken it to a whole new level. I love the cover art of all these editions because the absolute colors just really pop on these covers. It's great. All the artists were like, this character's in a new environment. Let's show that in the art. And it is stunning. Also, I recommend the Homage Edition, which is a homage of Daredevil number one from 1964. This is another edition we have available, along with many, many more, and we still have more surprises coming your way, so stay tuned. But this is the Homage Edition. Every Kickstarter, we like to do a little homages to um, classic uh, Marvel books or DC books, uh, traditionally from the 60s and 70s. I think this is a really great homage. I believe Marat Michaels, yep, Marat Michaels went ahead and, no, it's uh, Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. I'm so used to Marat doing the La Muerta ones. So this is really cool. It totally looks like Daredevil numero uno. Now, we also have so many other editions, but one thing we're really proud of is our value proposition. So, Coffin, Car Coffin Comic Carter, Coffin Comics Kickstarter value proposition. With each physical wards includes the following. Free, all unlocked bonus items. One bonus pack per backer. We have so much stuff in our um, <laughs> free bonus packs. They just burst at the seams. So we throw in things like stickers, buttons, wooden nickels, you name it. We'll throw it in there. It's a lot of fun. Everyone looks forward to these because they wonder what kind of cool stuff are you going to put for our free bonus items. We don't jip at all. We actually make it totally worth your while. Also, all free S U uh, free S free U.S. shipping. <laughs> it's got to be a day. So that's right. Free U.S. shipping. Take advantage of that here, USA. Grab some little extra additions. Also, a free digital download. Don't want to open your books? Want to keep them nice and pristine in your collection? Why not take the free digital download we got, put it on your device that you take with you so you can read that story and have it with you at all times. Also, another thing we added to our value proposition, we added a new comic book. Yes, this is a free comic book. This is Coffin Comics Infinity Verse. This is the uh, La Muerta Infinity Verse. All these editions show beautiful alternate versions of La Muerta done by series artist Joel Gomez. Nice, thick art book. Great collection for all the Infinity Verse collectors out there. Another thing we added to our value proposition, we added the green text on our Premier Edition. Premier Edition is only a $28, really great value. And picture that beautiful text going across here. And not only that, another thing that's great about backing this campaign is this is the second part of World War Death. What is going on with these white reapers that are attacking us? What is Lady Death, La Muerta, and all the other Coffinverse characters, what are they gonna do about it? Find out. This is the second part in our year-long event, World War Death. The White Reapers are coming. Mark, you have a very wonderful day. I very much appreciate you, and thank you for joining us today. Have a great day at work. All right, so we've got a lot of great stuff for you, a lot of great value for our Kickstarters. Ain't no catch. 
confidence here to make the dottle stretch. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I got a lot of work to get back to the con, so I'm going to show you guys some of these great stuff I have for you right here on the catacombs. Let me see if anyone else has anything else to say. Ace Bonnie. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Miguel, what's up, man? Gomez gang, hell yeah. Wow, look at that. God, you guys are amazing. Thank you, everyone, for backing us. So let's get things started. These are the last two copies. They are Scratch and Dent. This is Treacherous Infamy Violet Edition. Only two are available. These are Scratch and Dent. These sold out really quickly, so these won't last long at all. I can guarantee. Also, continuing our trade of Scratch and Dents, I have for you Lady Death Apocalypse Abyss number two. This is the Violet Edition by the one and only Billy Tucci. I got four copies of Bell Day. Really great value, especially if you're a Tucci fan. Oh, and there's something else I did. I took a couple Scratch and Dents and I made a set. This is Blasphemy Anthem 1 and 2 Naughty Set. You get issue 1 of Blasphemy Anthem number 1, Sun K Naughty, and 2 Sun K Naughty. These are available right now. Jimmy, thank you for the links as always. Jimmy is definitely replying back to any questions you might have very quickly. He's always <laughs> typing away, typing away. Here's another set I created. This is the Scorch S, uh, Scorch Earth, Scratch and Dent set. This is Scorch Earth number one, Boudoir, and the number two, Standard Edition. I have two of these sets available, issue one and two. And I, I freaked out when I saw, saw these two. Um, they were completely gone before, but I found one more of each. This is the last copy of A Nightmare on Elm Street, number one fear book. Last one. Also, for more of you horror fans, I also found one more copy of A Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid, issue two. That's right, these are the last two copies. I have one of each. I wish I had more of this horror stuff. It's absolutely amazing. But for all you classic Chaos fans, get ready. I'll have another set of some really cool Evil Ernie backstock coming your way, so stay tuned. Uh, I think you're going to like it. Next up, continue the tradition of Scratch and Dents. I have Blasphemy Anthem number two Scratch and Dent copies. These are the premium foil editions. And I didn't think, forget about you Hellwitch fans. Here is a signed copy of a Scratch and Dent Hellwitch Sacrilegious Ceremony. Signed by Brian right at the top. Ooh, let's, let's do something fun. I'm going to present to you right now Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty number one. This is a Mad, Mo Mad Mike mock-up edition. 9.8, signed by Brian Polito. And I included the nice cute little COA for the mock-up edition. I only have the one great cover art by the one and only Yo-Yo. Absolutely love her stuff. So all you Mad Mike fans, get it. This is the only mock-up I have. All right, here we go. I have got for you this beautiful Lady Death Echoes David Harrigan Warning 20s Naughty Edition. This is a publisher file. Got one copy for you right now. <coughs> Uh, wow. How did I know Miguel was going to say something like that? It, it's been a day. You guys know I, I fumbled my speech quite a bit, but hey, I roll with it. I have fun with it as long as it keeps you guys entertained. All right, continue the tradition of From the Vault. This is a publisher file of Lady Death Devotions. This is the Lorenza Sparanga Nice Edition. I got one copy available for you now. Oh, thank you, Ace. Another thing I hate, I hate about summer around here is we get, uh, my allergies hit, so I get the sniffles and everything. Oh, I hate it. All right. Woo! Ryan Kincaid fans. How about Lady Death Echoes, Ryan Kincaid? Nice! Nice! This is a publisher file, and it's up here for you. Yum, yum, come get it, because they ain't going to last long. Let's keep the... Flow going with some Ryan Kincaid's and let's get some Hell Witch pinups. Ryan Kincaid, nice and risque. That's right, I got one of each ready for you. All you gotta do is follow the link. Click, click, click. New term? Yes. Gazuntad. Oh. 
this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I really love this book. This is uh, Lady Death Echoes, Sora Song, Naughty Edition. Wow. Dramatic, beautiful. Sora Song really sells it with every cover she does, and this one is no, no exception. Only 50 copies were produced. I have one for you right now. All right, and another thing I found, um, thanks to Dakota, we found the last, the only three mint copies left of Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Cosplay Edition. These are the only good mint, non scratch and dent copies. They are available. They're the last three. There's so much great stuff coming your way. Miguel, they're... <laughs> Justice for Jeff, Dignity for Dakota, and keep it coming, brother. Come on. You, you got to get the trifecta out there. <laughs> you know what, everybody? We've got a lot going on here at HQ. Uh, it's been really nuts, but it's always rewarding to see all your guys' posts and comments on Facebook and all the uh, other mediums you guys post your love for Lady Death and Coffin Comics. And that's why I always end my show with the following... Happiness for Hooligan? Aw, thanks. This is why, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, because we all work for you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I am out of here, but I want to say thank you, everybody. We'll see you later, and have an amazing weekend if I don't talk to you then. And, people, keep up those dad jokes on our YouTube channel. I want to see them fill up the comments. You see our YouTube video? Put in a dad joke. Hashtag dad jokes. I want to read them on the air. Thank you, everybody. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Again, I'm sworn to you. Take it easy. John Harris, you have an amazing day. Everybody, take care of yourselves. I'm out.